just getting in the car to head to a meeting and I was thinking about something I posted on my social media on May 24th. It was about a new song that had just been released uh, that my friend Neil Thrasher helped write um, and Kalo as well, both dear friends of mine. But it was by Jason Aldean and I was so impressed with the song because it talked about the value of small towns and how we have our priorities right. And when I posted on my social media, I talked about that I hoped the video would be shot in South Dakota because that is our way of life here. I am shocked by what I'm seeing in this country with people attempting to cancel this song and cancel Jason and um, his beliefs and him and Brittany are outspoken about their love for law and order and for their love of this country. And I'm just grateful for them. I think a lot of times people that go out and, and fight every day on these important issues and, and have an opinion and remember the freedom and liberty that this country was founded on get persecuted from it. And we're seeing that with the Aldeans right now and the songwriters that work so hard on this. And I just want them to know that we support them. We love them. Thank you for writing a song that America can get behind. And uh, boy, keep singing, keep playing. And if you want to come to South Dakota, I'll let you play anywhere. Uh, we'll facilitate it. Um, I know you're coming in August, but if you want to come sing it on the governor's residence front lawn, we'll do it proudly. So Thank you for being Patriots. God bless you. Everybody, uh, Jason here, and um, this is Sunday, I guess. And uh, had a lot of people checking on on me today after hearing about what happened last night at the show in uh, in Connecticut. Just want to let you know, thanks to everybody that's that's calling in, checking. I'm doing fine. Um, just uh, one of those things. Man, it was hot. I was playing golf all day yesterday, and then got to the show, and just uh, I think it was a combination of dehydration and just heat exhaustion so here a lot of stuff going around heat stroke all this stuff uh, I don't think it was quite that serious but um, it was uh, it was it was pretty intense last night at the show anybody that was at the show knows how hot it was and uh, I don't know something just kind of I knew it was coming I was trying to get through as much of the show as, as I could and eventually it was just like I knew it wasn't gonna happen and I was trying to uh, just uh, get off stage and figure out what's going on. So, uh, so to everybody that came out to the show last night, thank you guys, uh, you know, so much for being there. Obviously, it's not the way I wanted the show to end. Um, not, not what I was hoping for on our first weekend of the tour by any means. But uh, I had a couple of IVs. I had one last night when I came off stage. Had one today. Um, got a show in Saratoga tonight. We're gonna, we're gonna play that show, and then we're gonna make the one up. Uh, to you guys in Hartford as well. So uh, again, I apologize for cutting the show short, but uh, we'll come back, and make it up to you, and uh, I'm feeling a lot, lot better. So thank you guys for checking in, and um, I don't know. We'll so Jason Aldini's trade that in a small town is actually making social media to go into a frenzy. It was pulled off air by the one Monday by the country music television. Um, the days after it was released on Twitter, Aldin has come out like you can see on the screen and said that um, uh, the basis on which they pulled his video was really baseless. Um, the song that was released in May uh, came out uh, just last Friday. The three minute production features clips of uh, people who are actually trying to um, get into a riot and stuff like that. So um, it also features, by the way, American flags as well as CCTV footages of people who are actually trying to do some crazy stuff. So in his words, he said, well, try that in a small town. See, see how far you can go, you can make it down, I mean, go down the road. So in the relics, part of what he says, he's, um, he's actually referring, referring to communities uh, full of good old boys raised up right and of course uh, the video is actually creating a bit of controversy between uh, the left and of course uh, the far right on twitter on tuesday he came out and said uh, that uh, uh, these are just celebration values of the small towns where he grew up in and in the past 24 hours he had be he had been accused of releasing a pro um a pro crazy songs i mean songs that do support crazy stuff and then he for him, he actually refutes the whole idea and saying that they are just trying to cancel him. And for him, he says that the critics don't have any basis on which they should cancel 
his video so i want you to let me know what you think about his whole video uh in the context of what is uh, right now happening because personally i do think very many people are now being triggered so easily we have lots and lots of snowflakes and of course some people will argue that um, this is a video that actually tries to incite uh, some racial stuff and you know it's really very complicated but of course i want you to um let me know what you think about this whole video and jason aldin is uh, reaction to this whole situation just right below the comment section as we'll be seeing what i mean how things unfold